What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sean Gorey and you're watching the Gorey Details. Today I just want to do a real quick tutorial to uh, help out a friend and to help out any of you guys that this information might benefit. I want to show you how to convert a mono channel audio file into a stereo channel audio file. So it's pretty simple and it's pretty straightforward, we're just going to hop right into it. Um, to do this we're going to need some free software called Audacity. I'm going to have a link in the description below, but for those of you who want to do it the hard way, if you literally just Google Audacity, it's the first thing that comes up and the web link is audacity.sourceforge.net. It's available for Windows, Mac, Linux, and some other stuff. Once you have that downloaded and you install it, we're going to open that up here. And it's going to welcome you and you're going to get a little screen that looks just like this. This is where we're going to want to import our audio file. You can do that by going up to File, Import, or just literally dragging and dropping it. So I got this file ready, sort of just as an example. It's already got two channels. It's got a left channel, it's got a right channel. But more importantly is the difference between them. So I can see visually that the left channel is louder and has uh, a lot of different levels that the right channel just doesn't have. And if I click play, I can see that in the visualizer and I can hear it in my headphones. Um, it's just very rich and authentic sound that you get when something is very crisp and clear, and this is what we want. But now let's say you didn't have the opportunity to record in stereo, or something happened where a channel was lost. We can fix that. So I'm going to sort of simulate that right now. I'm going to split the stereo tracks, now they're separated, and boom, I just deleted one of them. So like this is maybe what you have. You recorded something, and this is what you're left with. I'm going to try to fix that right now. So we're going to go up to Edit and go to Select All. Then we're going to go to Edit Copy. And you could have also used the shortcut keys of Control A, and obviously Copy is Control C. So we have this copied. What we're going to do is going to go up to Tracks, we're going to go Add New, and we're going to create a stereo track. And right from here, we're going to just go and paste it. So boom, there it is. So I'm going to close up my original here, and we can see we have a left, we have a right. Now, you can see visually by looking at them that they're the exact same, and if we play it, you'll hear that it's the same, and even in the visualizer, it's uh, at the same levels. So, the plus side is that it's in two channels now. It's stereo, and it's coming through both headphones or both speakers or whatever. The downside is you've sacrificed that authenticity, but it's something. I want to show a quick alternative here, so let me back up a few steps. Okay, so we're left with that single channel again. And instead of going to track, adding new, and going to stereo, if you just go to audio track, we can do the same thing where we paste this again. So I'm going to go to edit, paste, or just hit control V. And we've got two different channels here again. We've got this one, which we can set to left, and this one, which we can set to right. We can also select this and say, hey, make a stereo channel. So boom, it's a stereo again. Now, just like the other example, they look the exact same, and if we listen to it, they sound the exact same and the visualizer confirms it. What makes this different? If I back up a little bit, before I combine them, the fact that I have both of these separate is awesome. That means I can make this channel unique somehow. Um, I can load in different sound files so I can create a new custom stereo channel and all kinds of fun stuff. So let's say I wanted sounds that can only be heard in the right channel, or vice versa. You can bring those in individually before you collapse them. This gives you a little more independence. Or let's say you did find that right channel. You can paste it in here and then collapse them. Once you get your file right where you want it, you literally just go up to File, Export, and save it out in whatever format you want. And it's that simple. That's all from me today, guys. Hopefully this helped you out, and I will see you later.